Kicking off our countdown at number 10 is the Belvedere Palace. This grand structure is not just a palace, but a symbol of Austria's rich history and cultural prowess. Imagine walking through the halls where Prince Eugene of Savoy, one of the most successful military commanders in modern European history, once roamed. This majestic structure is a testament to Baroque architecture, a style characterized by grandeur, drama, and contrast. But the palace's allure doesn't stop at its exterior. Inside, it houses one of the world's most impressive collections of Austrian art. From Klimt's iconic The Kiss to works by Egon Schiele and Oskar Kokoschka, the Belvedere is a treasure trove for art enthusiasts. It's a place where history and art converge, offering visitors a unique glimpse into Austria's past and its artistic legacy. With its remarkable history and impressive collection, the Belvedere Palace is the perfect start to our Amsterdam adventure. Moving along to number 9, we find ourselves at Vienna's Museum's Quartier. This sprawling complex is not just a place, it's a cultural experience. As one of the largest cultural quarters globally, it's a bustling hub of art, architecture, and ideas. The Museum's Quartier is a treasure trove of creativity, housing over 60 different cultural institutions. Among these, the Leopold Museum stands out, home to one of the most extensive collections of modern Austrian art. Next, there's the Mumak, a museum of contemporary art that's as captivating on the outside as it is on the inside. And let's not forget the Zoom Children's Museum, where the little ones can engage with art and culture in a fun, interactive way. At Vienna's Museum's Quartier, you're not just a visitor, you're part of a vibrant, living cultural experience. So, come and immerse yourself in this world of art and inspiration. At Vienna's Museum's Quartier, there's always something to pique your cultural curiosity. For our number eight pick, we're going to take a tasty detour to Nashmarkt. This bustling market has been at the heart of Vienna's culinary scene for well over 400 years. Nashmarkt isn't just a place to grab a bite, it's a journey through the city's rich history and diverse food culture. Imagine strolling through long aisles, each filled with an array of fresh produce, tantalizing baked goods, and exotic spices. From local delicacies to international delights, there is something to satisfy every palate. Whether you're a foodie seeking gourmet ingredients or simply in search of a delicious meal, you're in for a treat. But the Nash Markt is not just about food. It's a vibrant social hub where locals and visitors mingle, where you can sip a cup of Viennese coffee while watching the world go by. It's a place where every sense is engaged, every turn a new discovery. A visit to Nashmarkt is a feast for the senses that you won't want to miss. At number seven, we dive into the Haus des Mer, a world full of vibrant marine life and lush tropical flora right in the heart of Vienna. This is not just an aquarium, it's a mission, a mission to educate and inspire, to foster a deep appreciation for our ocean's treasures, and to serve as a reminder of our responsibility to protect them. Here, you'll find over 10,000 aquatic creatures, from the exotic pufferfish to the majestic hammerhead shark, each one more fascinating than the last. But the wonders don't stop underwater. The Haus des Mer also offers breathtaking panoramic views of Vienna, making it a truly immersive experience. Imagine standing eye to eye with a sea turtle, then turning around to behold the city's stunning skyline. It's a surreal blend of natural and urban beauty that you won't find anywhere else. With its unique combination of marine life and city views, the Haus des Mer is a must-see. And at the halfway point of our countdown, at number six, we have the Hofburg. This captivating imperial palace, nestled in the heart of Vienna, whispers tales of yesteryears. Its grandeur is a testament to the Habsburg dynasty's influence, spanning over six centuries. Today, it stands not merely as a relic of the past, but as a dynamic hub of cultural and political activities. This sprawling complex houses several fascinating attractions. Among them is the Imperial Apartments, a peek into the private lives of Emperor Franz Joseph and Empress Sisi. Then there's the silver collection that showcases a breathtaking array of tableware and cookware, enough to satiate the curiosity of any history buff or culinary enthusiast. The Hofburg is also home to the Austrian National Library, an architectural masterpiece filled with ancient texts and manuscripts. It's a treasure trove for the intellectually inclined. The Hofburg, with its myriad facets, is truly a living testament to Vienna's regal past. Before we continue with our top five, remember to subscribe to our channel and leave a comment about your favorite Vienna site. We love hearing your thoughts and experiences and your input enriches our community. Now, let's continue our journey through the stunning city of Vienna. 
Back on track with number five, we find ourselves at Prater. This public park, nestled in the heart of Vienna, is a treasure trove of history and excitement. Established in the 16th century, Prater has been a beloved green space for locals and tourists alike for centuries. But don't mistake its age for dullness. This old dog has a few tricks up its sleeve. Within its verdant expanse lies an amusement park. Thrill seekers step right up. It's home to the iconic Riesenrad Ferris wheel, a landmark that has been turning heads since the late 19th century. From its peak, you can catch a spectacular view of the city, a sight that's worth the ride alone. But if heights aren't your thing, don't fret. Prater offers an array of activities and attractions that cater to every preference. From peaceful picnic spots to adrenaline-pumping rides, this park has it all. A visit to Prater offers fun and relaxation for all ages. Coming in at number four, we have the renowned Vienna Opera House. Known as the Wiener Staatsoper, this marvel of architecture has been serenading the city with sublime performances since the mid-19th century. It's a testament to Vienna's rich musical history, where the echoes of Mozart, Beethoven, and Strauss still resonate. The Opera House's design, a brilliant blend of Renaissance and Neo-Gothic styles, is a spectacle in itself. Its grandeur is rivaled only by the world-class performances it hosts. Over the course of a year, the Opera House stages more than 300 performances of over 60 different operas and ballets. That's nearly a different production every day. But the Vienna Opera House is more than just a venue. It's an institution dedicated to preserving the legacy of the great composers who once called Vienna home. For music lovers and architecture enthusiasts alike, the Vienna Opera House is a must-visit. Our number three pick is a feast for the eyes, the Hundertwasser House. Nestled in the heart of Vienna, this residential building is a delightful departure from the conventional. Its unique architectural style, a brainchild of Austrian artist Friedensreich Hundertwasser, is a colorful rebellion against the rigidity of traditional architecture. Now the philosophy behind Hundertwasser House is quite intriguing. Hundertwasser believed that uniformity in architecture is oppressive, and so he designed this building with uneven floors, a roof covered in earth and grass, and large trees growing from inside the rooms, their limbs extending out of the windows. Imagine living in a house that's essentially an ecosystem. For art lovers, this is more than just a building, it's an artistic statement. Every nook and cranny reflects Hundertwasser's love for organic forms and vibrant colors. The Hundertwasser house truly is a living work of art. At number two, we have the breathtaking St. Stephen's Cathedral. As the heart and soul of Vienna, this Gothic masterpiece has watched over the city for more than seven centuries. It's a testament to the city's resilience, having survived wars, fires, and renovations. The cathedral's architectural style is a feast for the eyes. Its exterior is a harmonious blend of Romanesque and Gothic elements, while the interior is a symphony of Baroque grandeur. The stunning mosaic roof with its vibrant geometric patterns is a sight you won't soon forget. But the cathedral's beauty isn't only skin deep. Climb the 346 steps of its south tower and you'll be rewarded with panoramic views of Vienna that are nothing short of spectacular. The cathedral is more than just a building. It's a symbol of Vienna's enduring spirit. Its towering spires and intricate sculptures tell stories of Vienna's past, even as its bells chime in the present. St. Stephen's Cathedral is a symbol of Vienna and an architectural masterpiece. And finally, at number one, we have the magnificent Schönbrunn Palace. A beacon of Austrian history, Schönbrunn Palace is a paragon of Baroque architecture. This former imperial summer residence has seen the likes of Maria Theresa, Franz Joseph and other Habsburg monarchs walk its opulent halls. It's not just a palace, it's a time capsule that tells a tale of the empire's zenith and decline. Now let's step outside and breathe in the beauty of the palace gardens. As though the palace wasn't grand enough, these gardens are a spectacle in their own right. Imagine a symphony of sculpted hedges, vibrant flower beds, and tranquil fountains, all set against the backdrop of the Gloriette, a stunning neoclassical structure overlooking Vienna. But the palace isn't just a feast for the eyes, it's also a UNESCO World Heritage Site recognized for its exceptional universal value. This isn't merely a palace or a garden, it's a testament to an era long gone, yet preserved in all its glory. With its grandeur and historical significance, the Schönbrunn Palace is the crown jewel of Vienna. 
Its majesty is a fitting culmination to our journey through this city of dreams. But remember, Vienna isn't just about its landmarks. It's about the stories they tell, the history they keep, and the memories they inspire. So, pack your bags and let Vienna write a chapter in your travel diary.